Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Today's problem is number 39 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. Let's jump right into it. It's going to be a review of some core math concepts involving place value. And I think you can use this to review some of those core nuts and bolts math concepts to help you on your teacher certification exam. Whether you're in California or New York or Massachusetts or Florida or Texas, wherever you are, all of the teacher certification exams are going to use elements of these, uh, this core math that you're going to see. Right? So let's look at this. Number 39. Which of the following numbers is between 2,329,500 and 2,529,100? And here we we have these numbers, so we might as well review the place value of some of these values. This is in the ones place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions place. So we think of that, that nine digit, and that really says there's nine thousand, so that's how we get nine thousand. Or this two digit, it's, there are two million, so that digit represents two million. A little review of place value there. We're going to try and find out which one of these values fits in between the smallest and the largest. So let's think about that for a moment. Here, I'll, I'll rewrite them. The smallest value and the largest value, and we're looking for something in between those two numbers. This is 2,300,000. Let's start with that. Right? And this is... Uh, 2,500,000 and something. And let's uh, go there. Now let's look at these at 2,300,000 and 2,500,000. Why did I do that? Because right now I just want to be focusing on the millions and hundred thousands place. And I'm looking for, no I'm going to try and eliminate numbers that are either too small or too big. Now this one right here, right away, A, we look at this and it's 22, it's 2,200,000 and we're looking for 2,300,000 so right away A is too small and I could cross A out all the others seem to fit within this range here so then I go to the next value this is 2,300,000 um, 200 and this is 2,500,000 500, and, uh, and there's a there's a uh, a 90, this one, this that number 9 there, whatever that is, <laughs> 90,000. Okay, so I'm looking for something in between these two. Well, I can look at B, and I could be like, well, it's got the 2, it's got the 3, but ah, the 0 is just too small. I'm looking for something with at least a 20,000 in the 10,000s place. So I cross that one off. B doesn't work. Now I go down to this one here. It's got the 2, it's got the 5. And technically speaking, it's got an 8, and 8, you know, 8 works. So, so far, there's no issues here. And all these other, uh, when I look at these other values here, this, this 2 works. Um, this 3 works, and this 2 works, so there's no issues here so far. Let's go, to, let's go one more, see if we can eliminate any others. Uh, the, next the next digit is uh, 2,329,000. So I got a 9 here. Well, this 7, ah, 7 is just too small. It's got to be greater than the 9, greater than or equal to the 9. So I could cross that one off. And uh, this one right here, this is a uh, 8. Look at this. It's a, little tr it's a little tricky to see, but in that thousands place, there's a 9 there. That 9, guess what, is too big. E is just too big. We could eliminate E. And if we were to continue this out, we'd, we'd really find that D is the correct answer. It's a little tricky because you have to go all the way out to the thousandths place um, to f figure out that you know D is the correct answer. So you've got to be very, very careful with this stuff. I don't think this is a hard problem. 
I think, though, it's a very easy problem to make a careless mistake. So it's not a hard one, but it's a very easy one to make a careless mistake. So take your time. Find a strategy that helps you identify that D is in between these two. There's lots of ways to do it. I say you just go, you take a minute and you go through it very methodically and you, you sort of match up that D is in fact the one that's less, greater than this, but less than this. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye-bye.